I will be discussing with you how to heal the heart. Actually, a sister uh, Sarita has told that I have healed the heart. Actually, I have not healed the heart. I have told them how to heal the heart. And the people have modified their lifestyle and that is how they have healed the heart. So can you please come forward? Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Can you have a little better focus here? थोड़ा सा इनको फोकस थोड़ा अच्छा कर देंगे तो अच्छा जाए। This is my hospital, a global hospital in Mount Abu, and we have another branch of this hospital, a global hospital trauma center, where at presently I am giving my services. And I'll just present to you results, you know, practical model for healing the heart. How? Through, you know, we have actually I shifted to Mount Abu in '95, and we started our this study in collaboration with DRDO in uh, Fab '98, and three tertiary cardiac care hospitals in Mumbai, Delhi, and Ahmedabad, and this study was sponsored by Ministry of Health. This study was published in uh, 2011, and we were informed by the uh, Biomed Lib. Can we have a little better focus? This is not properly focused. You know, focus not properly. Focus a little bit on this. This study uh, in 2013, we were informed in uh, July that your studies stands amongst the top 20 studies in the world, most cited, most visited by the uh, researchers, doctors and public. And it is uh, number one at, in that rank. You know, this is here. And then uh, it continued to be number one for uh, almost two and a half years till November, 25, November 15, uh, no, November two, uh, 2015. So uh, this study Mount Abu Open Heart Trial, which was, which was published. And uh, now CAD, as we are aware, we have epidemic all over the world. India is the world leader. India leads in coronary artery disease and uh, it is affecting, actually it is, it is affecting Indians wherever they are. And we all know that it is a psychosomatic disease, it is a lifestyle disease. It can be prevented, it can be treated, but provided we, we change. The, uh, the treatment which we are giving in the form of PCI, that is, you know, this is how the blocks, you must be all aware, how the blocks build up from the early age, from childhood onwards. And when the patient presents to us, that time the patient the disease is already advanced and the intervention we offer them is PCI with uh, bare metal stent or drug eluting drug stents. But this is again a palliative care only. It does not solve the cause. It does not solve the problem there, right? And uh, we, have, we have patients with us who have undergone a PCI 10 times, 8 times, bypassed twice, but still the disease is progressive. It's a progressive disease. Unless you address the root cause, the disease does not disappear. Uh, See this, even stents get blocked, the, by, the bypasses, again it is a palliation because just like cutting a tree from above, the root is still there. So uh, because we don't treat the root cause and uh, preventive cartilage is coming up in India, but still it is a long way to uh, go and lots to be done. So we started this study as a, as a multidisciplinary project uh, and we are working on this project. Cardiologist, it's a multidisciplinary study. Cardiologist, endocrinologist, clinicians, spiritualists, nutritionists, fitness experts, and uh, psychologists. We are working to, uh, for last more than 19 years, and uh, we have now more than 8,000 patients in this program, all angiographically documented patients. And uh, actually, we, we published this amount of open heart trial. Then we published another uh, Abu Healthy Heart trial. Which is, a, which is a healthy lifestyle group and a control group. And the difference between the two groups was, we did uh, their EEG, heart rate variability, all the hormones, epinephrine, norepinephrine, cortisol, 8 a.m., 4 p.m. in the urine and blood. The melatonin levels were done because DRDO was with us. So DRDO uh, was sort of, uh, uh, did all these studies, you know, on, on physiological and endocrinological level. And, uh, And the only difference between the two groups was Raj Yoga meditation. 
diet exercise was same medication usual medical care and the difference was stress management through raj yoga meditation was given to the healthy lifestyle group and not to the control group control group was told to you know they were taught about stress and how to avoid stress but not through meditation they were told you know whatever they are doing prayers namaz because we had lot of muslim patients as well christians also so we told them whatever you are doing do it more but don't get angry don't have anxiety uh, and because it is all documented in various studies the people who get anger that they, they are more prone to develop heart disease depression is itself a independent risk factor for heart disease and uh, anxiety type a behavior lack of ventilation lack of emotional support lack of social support cynicism hostility there are so many psychological factors psychological psychosocial factors which have been you know correlated and they are responsible for endothelial dysfunction and uh, we our 80% patients have either dvd or double vessel disease or triple vessel disease in both the groups and the all the results were you know analyzed by a independent statistician and the angiograms also were you know dvds are coded and then they were analyzed by independent uh, group of uh, angiographers and the you can appreciate the patients who were in the rajyoga meditation group they could modify their type a behavior anxiety anger depression lifestyle better and overall feeling of well-being significantly while the control group there was hardly any change and the program adherence was also better diet adherence exercise adherence and de addiction was much better uh, people could adhere better in the control group people stopped uh, sort of smoking or alcohol but again they started after one year one month or so so they could not adhere and the in the same way the diet exercise they, they they continued for one in the beginning but again they had no will power the the adherence scores decreased as it went on today now patients are with us for last 18 19 years and still they are following more than 70% patients are still following the program as it is and they are enjoying quality of life good good quality of life the, the this we did the eeg of these patients on day 1 and day 7 and then 6 months 1 year 1 and a half years and 2 years and you can appreciate that the on the day 1 the beta rhythm was pretty dominant and and alpha rhythm was very little but you can see at day 7 you can appreciate the alpha rhythm with eyes open and even theta rhythm has improved in alpha rhythm we say it with closed eyes this is open eyes meditation raj yoga meditation is open eyes meditation it's a conscious meditation change of consciousness from outer self to inner self and you can appreciate that this so this is a peaceful wave so we also can also call it a peaceful wave this is also loveful wave love love means you accept people as they are right unconditional dignified respectful acceptance and care for each and every one in the family in the society in the country that is what love means and uh, this is delta rhythm also improved you can see that with eyes open it is much better and uh, you, you, you see this alpha rhythm is improving day 7 there is a significant improvement and it keeps on improving delta rhythm beta rhythm has come down theta rhythm is also improving day 7 itself and delta rhythm after one year that means you are so much relaxed as if you are sleeping while working that is the effect of raj yoga meditation and our dadi dadi janki at present she is in london and uh, she is a lady we call them call her delta, delta woman she is the most stable mind in the world she has been you know uh, various places california australia sydney different places in the world you know, people have done the eeg on the on her and they found delta rhythm predominantly delta rhythm in eeg while she is talking so she is a most stable mind she is 102 at present right so you can see that this is what is happening with when you practice raj yoga meditation i'll i'll share with you how to practice how we told our patients to practice raj yoga meditation uh, and this see this uh, this is heart rate variability you can appreciate in this diagram this is low frequency power here this is sympathetic low, low frequency power represents sympathetic activity and the uh, high frequency power represents represents parasympathetic activity you can appreciate that these people were you know uh, day one when they came came to us uh, the sympathetic overactive you know predominance was there and parasympathetic activity was very less but day 7 itself there is significant you know balance between sympathetic and parasympathetic at when you at one year there was complete harmony at two years still better harmony 
So, you need both, you need not have just become totally parasympathetic, that is harmful. Similarly, parasympathetic overactivity also leads to lot of problems. But having a balance, Raj Yoga gives you that balance which is required. And then we also did the catecholamines, adrenal levels and non levels. And see this, or this control group there is no change, but interventional group there is significant, highly significant change that you can, and then it continues to go down. And then the uh, serotonin and beta endorphin levels. You can appreciate that these are the happy hormones. And you can appreciate that within 7 days the serotonin levels, beta endorphin levels significantly improve, right. And they further continue to improve as you go on. Endorphin is the strongest painkiller. By doing meditation you increase the amount of endorphin in your body and thereby you really you know enjoy life which is pain free. Maybe it is not only heart pain, but it is headache, it is backache, it is knee pain. Whatever type of pains you have in the body, they decrease and you have a better you know you feel elevated, mood is elevated, feeling of happiness, feeling of well being, a lot of energy, they feel a lot of pooling of energy. And the 8 am and 4 pm samples, the cortisol levels in the urine and blood. And this is what we found that the these patients when given, we, we told them that the, when you, you are supposed to, as you get up at 4 am here, similarly we told them sleep from 10 to 4, get up at 4, 4 am we give the meditation. And uh, you know, you, you must be aware that after getting up uh, half an hour later, the cortisol starts coming out from the adrenal. Depending on, uh, the studies are there, depending on your thought patterns. What is mind? Mind is nothing but team. Thoughts emotions, attitudes and memories. Mind has got four aspects, right. I will share with you later on how to sort of you know change your mind, how to change your team, how to change your team to open your blocks, right. So, uh, so we tell them you have, have positive team up to 8 am. Do not allow any negative thought, negative emotion up to 8 am. Try to be in silence as far as possible. If there is emergency, do talk, but avoid mobile television and newspaper up to 8 am. And we saw that this significant change that within 7 days significant decrease in cortisol levels in both 8 am samples and 4 pm samples were observed, right. And then further continued to decrease in both the studies. And then the insulin, the most important thing which we all observed, actually after that I have done 4 more studies on this, insulin resistance, HOMA index in, in on the effect of Raja Yoga meditation on met and metabolic syndrome. How the insulin the with this Rajuka meditation glycemic controls become much better and the insulin levels come down on day 7 itself. And there is significant decrease in insulin levels on day 7, control group there is no change, but significant decrease in insulin levels, fasting insulins. So that means they, they, are, they are, you are having a decrease in blood sugars and decrease in insulin, that insulin level, that is better insulin sensitivity. Once you improve the insulin sensitivity, what will happen? You combat the hypertension, you combat the diabetes, you combat the uh, dyslipidemia and you combat the weight, obesity. All the four components of metabolic syndrome. So that is what where you know this addresses, you know. 60 to 70 percent in the people in the country have insulin resistance. And if you can combat that, the, com the epidemic, the root cause of epidemic of coronary artery disease, hypertension, diabetes, so many NCDs, non-communicable diseases, you can combat them. So this, uh, that's how I, I'm just, you know, having two more uh, sort of studies going on at present on insulin sensitivity uh, with the, uh, with cardiac patients. And then you can, people who had this problem, this problem, there was change in, uh, see the people who could walk only 100 meters, within seven days they could walk two, three kilometers. And the drug score, number of nitrate, the tablets required was significantly decreased in this group while there was an increase, little increase. And exercise, you know, tolerance, significant, highly significant improvement as I told you. And injection fraction, average increase in injection fraction was about 10 percent. I will show you some of the uh, video, uh, video clips, how the before LVNGO, before the, this program and after the, after they participated in this program. And the total cholesterol decreased, LDL decreased, HDL improved, good cholesterol improved, bad cholesterol decreased, triglyceride decreased and the LDL HDL ratio decreased by 37 percent. So here is the intervention 
which you know helps you both both ways improves the bad uh, get good, uh, good cholesterol and decreases the bad cholesterol and the events see over a period of almost 3 years events 9 versus 38 and odds ratio of 11 and the 93 patients 93 percent patients could open their blocks as compared to only 13 percent uh, decrease in uh, 13 percent patients could show some, dec some decrease but overall there was a 4.52 percent increase in the control group and I will just show you some angiograms. Can you appreciate here there is a 90 percent block here and see the how better it has become how better how nicely it has regressed. See there is a long diffuse disease starting RCA right coronary artery from here to here and you can appreciate that this is how it has regressed nicely a, 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 a graft which a sort of block which cannot be stented even and uh, a, even we had 33 blocks which are 100 percent calcified blocks. So, we had not actually taken them for study, but to our surprise out of 33 90, uh, 19 blocks opened up even 100 percent blocks calcified blocks opened up. This is one of them right and see this another 100, 100 percent and multiple blocks they all decreased 80 and 90 percent block decreased significantly improved significantly and uh, see this so these are video clips not working so these actually video clips not working does not matter actually this patient had two in fact anterior wall in fact and uh, inferior wall in fact and the ejection fraction became 30 percent and after the in that after one year when the angiography was repeated see this it became 45 percent and there, there was no regional bone motion abnormality at that point of time. So, you re, can regenerate their cardiac progenitor cells present in the dead myocardium necrotic myocardium you can regenerate you can trigger those cells by rajoga meditation by stage of bliss 80 percent block decreased improved and the see the EF is 20 percent of the same patient and the after the it became 50 percent within a year ejection fraction that is why that is why I showed you average increase in EF was ejection fraction was 10 percent 100 percent block opened up control group see this all the blocks have increased in spite of the same diet same exercise why and actually we have we we did the psychological analysis of all these patients and we uh, we have a very big database of 8000 patients angiograms pre and post uh, more than 1000 repeat angiograms and uh, we have there all the psychological database uh, on day 1, day 7, 3 months, 6 months you know we uh, and the both wife and husband because we invite them with the with the, with the spouse and uh, we have actually correlated every block in the LMCA, LAD osteal proximal mid distal or d1 d2 or ramus or lcx which area it is a branch or rca right coronary artery with the psychological patterns thinking patterns and we can now looking at the angiograms we can know that this person has this type of personality from the angiogram itself when the because all the reports come to me from all over the country and abroad and I am when I review the reports that time I can actually I can make out that this person is probably this person is his nature is this he behaves in this in this fashion probably he, he has this you know we can make out from the as people can say from the palm some palmist can tell you the future but I can tell the personal person's personality by just looking at the angiogram and uh, we are very correctly we are able to you know when we talk to them that this is this type of personality you have yes I have this I have this I have this. So, they they come out with that you know the angiogram and then we have shown this is this we have shown if you can regret if you can change their personality like type A behavior anxiety anger depression lack of ventilation lack of emotional support lack of social support hmm, if we can change them we can change the cynical behavior critical behavior hostile behavior through meditation we can change them right. Once we change them the blocks melt melts away like you know as if it melts up within 3 months 6 months 
but if the people some people do not change then the blocks continue to increase we have seen, seen even this says someone has changed type a behavior but he has become more sensitive emotional so but the that block in the one of one of the one of the blocks has decreased other block has increased so that is also seen because how much they are working on that pattern through meditation right it is you have to be careful no? once you change then along with that you change the diet change the exercise and then disease improves it's not not only heart disease but the hypertension you know patients who come to us with insulin resistance they are on 80 units of insulin 50 units of insulin and within a week we are the patient is off insulin 50 units of insulin you, may, you must be thinking it's, it's a miracle it's not a miracle same because they when they come to us we change their diet we change their mind we change their head right you know people today in in the modern world i always, i used to tell my patients people make hanuman out of a human being right by opening the chest right hanuman you understand we open the chest right and but we we don't uh, we don't open the chest we change the head so we make them ganesha hmm? so it just change you know from hanuman to ganesh so i always tell them if you really want to open your blocks you have to change your head are you ready for that if you are ready then please come and join the program and once they are ready for change they change and the blocks open up not only one block one, not only the blocks but their hypertension decreases diabetes improve diabetes many of the patients are off anti diabetic drugs anti hypertensives it must be in thousands you know and the asthma migraine gerd even the bone problems and the irritable bowel syndrome all associated problems because wife is also there husband is also there sometimes husband is the patient sometimes wife is the patient and many times it is seen that patient husband is the patient when the wife is coming but the wife doesn't follow follow properly after husband becomes all right and wife becomes becomes a patient after some time we all the, we call them dilwalas you know to so dilwalas means the wife comes as satwala and patient is dilwala and wife doesn't follow after going back to the how home she t- takes the same diet does not follow the meditation properly and the husband becomes all right and the wife becomes dilwala <laughs> dilwali and then then she comes with the patient the patient comes with the, that previous dilwala comes with the patient as satwala no so that is what you know actually this is that, that's what we tell them now you both of you have to follow the program sincerely if you really want to change the family because your family your son your children your, your daughters and granddaughters and grandsons they have the same problem they have the same genes they are going to suffer the same problem you change for them may not be for yourself but you change for them if you change they will not suffer heart disease so so but the, like this patient if then they started following the yoga meditation they can open their blocks right see this every block every block for every block there is thought pattern if you can change that you can change the blocks see this 80% this, this block here has a worsen another control and another patient here say this there's a block actually 100% block in the rca this video clip is not functioning and see this it has opened up whole of it has opened up so what is heart let us see what is heart we talk about heart there's a there's a physical heart which is a wonderful pump right and there's a talk there's a heart which is which we talk about the heart in our poetry in songs ghazals you know what is that heart that heart is conscience and what is in my conscience affects this heart so i'll be talking about consciousness or conscience if you can change your conscience consciousness then you can change this block these blocks these blocks relate very much to this conscience or consciousness what heals the heart is the mind which heals the heart it's the mind which causes the blocks and it's the mind which heals the heart so mind is the you know leads to attacks coronary events and also leads to blockages or plaques and what is mind this is our brain which is a hardware which is physical 100 billion neurons 
higher brain, lower brain and soft brain is mind is software, it is non physical and it has got four, four aspects thoughts, emotions, attitudes and memories. What is the difference between thoughts and emotions? Anyone? What is the difference between thoughts, thoughts and emotions? Yes? Okay, right. Anyone else? Anyone else? Emotions are reaction to situations. So, actually, basically, intense thoughts become emotions. Anything, any thought you do intensely again and again, that becomes emotion, right. Think about something intensely, it becomes emotion, right. And when you have developed emotions, then between two people, emotions are usually between relations mother and child, husband and wife, brother and sister, parents and son, you know, son or daughter, between the two, two, two relationships. And then from the emotions flow the vibrations. So, son is in US, mother is in, in Delhi. So, 20,000 kilometers the vibrations are traveling. This is also called telepathy, right. And when emotions are prolonged, they become attitudes. And attitudes lead to vibration. At, at what is emotions are prolonged, the emotions are prolonged, it becomes a complete circle and then there is an atmosphere around it. And that atmosphere, under the effect of atmosphere you act and these acts are recorded, that becomes your memory. If you do, if you act once, they are, they are, they are called brief acts, they become impressions and when you, these impressions are reinforced by others, many people around you, your friends, your family members, they become belief systems. And Vishwas, just get enough. Shani Varko, ye di kamni karna, Billy Rasta Kartgeito, Kam Krabojaga, Chink is in a marito, Kam Krabojaga, and Ham Sabota Marina, so we can the Padilical woman beauta, doctors may beauta, cricketers may beauta, yes, officers may beauta, Sabimota, ye belief systems, Amari. Uska Mudeka to Kam Krabojaga. What an answer? To ye jo Mari belief systems, eh? ये हमें होल्ड कर लेते हैं अभी सारे सारे हमारे बिलीफ सिस्टम फिजिकल है हम अपने आप को बॉडी समझते आ रहे हैं सुबह से आप सुन रहे हैं मेडिटेशन के बारे में यू आर अ बीइंग विद द बॉडी हमारा कांसेप्ट क्या है आई एम अ बॉडी विद द विद द विद द सोल राइट विद अ बीइंग ह्यूमन बीइंग अभी उसके उसके ऊपर बात आ गए आते हैं तो ये हमारे व्हेन यू डू इट अगेन एंड अगेन दे बिकम आवर हैबिट्स रिजॉल्व्स और पर्सनालिटी ट्रेट्स दैट इज आवर पर्सनालिटी इज फॉर्मड you, we were not born as type A behavior, anxiety, angry people or cynical people or hostile people or sensitive people. This is what we gain from the society, from the parents, from the, from the, our friends, our teachers and people around us up to the age of 11 years. And then that is by that time our personality is formed. That is called cycle, in psychology that is called as oral phase of life or passive phase, passive phase in life. And that is how our memories are formed, our personalities are formed. And then after the once your personality is formed or your memories are formed, sanskaras are formed, then your mind does not uh, act, then yeah, sorry, intellect does not work, then intellect does not work. Science of healing the heart, how to heal the heart, you, you are aware, when someone dies, we tell the patient relatives, he has, he has left the body, he has gone, take the body. But from this same person, if we, this person was willing to give, give his organs, another, another person is there in the hospital whose ejection fraction is only 10 percent, 15 percent and he requires a cardiac transplant, tissue matching is done, histocompatible matching is done, you can transplant this heart from here to this heart, this body, this being and it starts functioning. That means which makes the heart function? It is the soul which makes the heart function. Here the life force is not there, here the driver is there it starts functioning and human being basically is not only physical energy which comes from the diet, exercise and uh, sleep, but it is human being is a continuum of spiritual, mental and physical energy and health is a health is not a state, health is a dynamic process of harmony and flow of spiritual, mental and physical energy. Anything happening any anywhere wrong our health gets you know we become ill and that is a that's very important thing, very important statement. Only soul and few memory cells are, are continuous with life. Rest almost 98 to 98 percent, 99 percent cells change every three months to two years. Your bones are changing, your heart is changing. 
your whole gi tract is changing whole, whole liver is changing depends on your team what type of team you have you have to stick to that team for 3 months 4 months 5 months 6 months and you see that your organ is changed that can be done another very important thing body is made up of 80000 billion cells and in each cell about 100000 reactions occur in one second but when you get and we have anxiety instead of 100000 you have 120000 when you get anger it becomes 140000 then you have uh, more anger raise it becomes 160000 180000 and body cannot get rid of those those extra reactions toxins and we have one, we are born with one target organ someone it may be heart it someone it may be cardiovascular system someone it may be respiratory system someone it may be liver and gi tract someone it different organ systems may be there maybe maybe and the whole effect goes on to that that target organ whatever negative you are thinking here and then angry then the effect will come on those cells only and that is how that organ is going to get disease and then disease coming in one organ will spread to other organs depending on because all are, all are, all are interrelated so that is the concept 3d healthcare self responsibility heal plus heal healthy healthy means heal plus die we, we tell our patients that you are the only person on this planet who can heal yourself who heal you that is you only doctor can only guide you parents can help you relatives can help you and god will help you only only if when you follow right he will help you thousand times in human being will help you once depending on how much you have helped them helped him so that is what is needed and once you want to you know that you have to heal then the meaning of healthy is swast hindi swa means inner self stha means conscious so healthy means inner self conscious the meaning of bimari bimari b word if you search in the hindi shabd kosh then b means fear mari means constancy of so fear means bimari means constancy of fear and multidimensional approach to heal thyself one needs self empowerment and empowerment comes from true knowledge and true knowledge comes from god as you heard from usha ben god is truth and information education counseling about the soul about the supreme soul god or higher highest power soul mind body as per biological clock there is a clock here in the in the hypothalamus you follow that clock there is a time to get up time to sleep time for meditation time for walking there's time for everything you follow that time for breakfast time for lunch time for dinner if you follow that the energy you will be more efficient energy required to do that very work is less than you know like say if, I, if the time for planning i always do my planning in the morning 5 am after meditation and i study i have even in my college days i used to study from 4 to 6 or 4 to 7 5 to 7 after meditation and that those two hours of study you remember you know that the you can remember as much as you could remember in eight hours the efficiency improves after meditation right if you do it in that way and uh, when you enjoy the uh, flow of energy in the spiritual mental physical energy then you can be ever healthy ever happy and this is what concept is human being human means humus which is latin word which means soil and being means life force which means soul it is about outer self it is about inner self and uh, outer self means body role or material or religion also comes in that this is our outer self right and this, this, this these three are unstable that leads to insecurity and these five vices are nothing but because of insecurity fear and they lead to mental, negative mental tendencies type a behavior anxiety jealousy laziness carelessness cynicism hostility suspicious behavior assuming that is schizoid behavior anxiety fear and they are responsible for stress and this stress there are many studies which tell us the wrong mood leads to wrong food when you are wrong mood you go for wrong food is uh, reverse is also right when you have good food when you have tasty food your mood changes but when you are wrong mood unhappy mood you will go for wrong food right like like uh, when you, when you are feeling bitterness in the mind you go for sweets even if you are diabetic you go for sweets when you feel dry here in the mind you go for fried foods right when you are feeling very boring inside you go for hot and spicy foods right there are so many studies are there which tell us so when you go for wrong food such a person with uh, super beta super beta uh, frequency super beta eg 
we cannot go to cannot get sleep goes to sleep at 10 but gets up sleep only at 2 2 am so this person will sleep up to 8 am and still will not be you know energetic because he, he was you know just tossing in the bed he do, could not get delta sleep and this person cannot get up early so he cannot go for exercise he doesn't have time for exercise to go to, go to work so he doesn't have time and this person is a easy easy victim for smoking alcohol and drugs drugs substance abuse and that is how he is unhappy and you know uh, diseased on the other hand if you are so, soul conscious is stable full proof and the, these are seven energies of the soul innate energies of the soul like peace love happiness bliss and powers and then when he, when this such a person with seven full of seven energies when he comes into, into action then these are the values which he reflects from his actions from the face from his actions truthfulness because these are nothing but their combinations various combinations of these seven basic energies and then they reflected as humility tolerance contentment content concentration determination patience and such a person is stress free this person is living to eat and this person is no no this person is uh, is it up is it right living to eat and this person is eating to live right this so this person is happy all right so he's not looking for happiness in the food he goes for healthy food he he gets a very good sleep we go to bed at 10 immediately we, we fall asleep and then we get up in the morning at 3:30 have meditation and then take bath and go for exercise that's our daily routine and say no to smoking and alcohol healthy and happy life incurable does not mean it is not curable it means it is in plus curable it is curable if you go in so that is what formula is stress is equal to pressure divided by inner strength and if this pressure is more than one then you feel stress and we can remove this uh, we can increase the inner strength by meditation rajoga meditation what is rajoga meditation it is nothing but realizing the a b c d what is a b c d a for atma ama being b for baba baba means god right father highest power what is the difference between soul and supreme soul soul is embodiment of seven energies and supreme soul is powerhouse of seven energies and connection between the soul and supreme that is rajoga meditation and drama we every one of us in the in this community in the society has a different role destined predestined role and every play one is playing accurate role in the drama if you realize this that is what meditation is all about abcd is truth and what is meditation realization of the truth being the truth living the truth and realization of the truth that is what meditation is i think i'll just leave this anatomy of soul as we have anatomy of body the same way you have anatomy of soul mind intellect and sanskaras these are three and three three uh, subtle faculties of the soul and mind is nothing but team and this is what aura you talk about this is not nothing but your team and intellect and results are nothing but memories formed by repeated thoughts and actions speech and actions and these are seven energies i remember the formula like this kp square low high blood pressure you realize this again and again a b c d your mind will become pure mind and intellect will become pure you do this purity will lead to peace that means you will forget the past and you will uh, forget the future and just you will be in the present and that too in a real true form okay and that is peace the number of thoughts will come down from 30 to 8 per minute and then that is you come to you achieve alpha rhythm then love love means unconditional dignity whatever is around you people around you whatever people in in who are in the home or in the working place you accept them as they are without being judgmental your wife your husband your parents your brother sister your sons and daughters your office boss and people working with you people pn other people you accept them as they are so that is what love means once you have that love you become you have developed contentment and that leads to happiness and once you have that happiness then you get bliss bliss means going beyond soul goes beyond then unites with the supreme soul you know through intellect that is a feeling ecstasy that is bliss and then you develop powers power power that is you develop wisdom you develop power of uh, 
judgment, right power judgment. Then you are able to make mountains, uh, moles out of moles, or uh, moles out of mo mountains, right? Huh? You can make big things, big problems into small, small things, right? You can just put a, put a full stop the problems. You won't sort of linger on with those small, small things which have been happening, which have happened in your life. So then you can pack up and you, then you can have power of tolerance. You can accommodate, adjust with things. Then you can face newer problems. Then you can cooperate with people. So these are eight powers that comes in this sequence. And once that is spiritual energy, the soul is nourishing the body through mind. Your mind has to be positive. And if your mind is positive, then all the seven energies are required by each and every cell of the body. One, and but there is a special energy for each, each and every uh, organ system, which I will not go into today, time is over. But more you do meditation, the energy uh, team is positive, energy is going to the organ system, nourishing then, it, it accumulates around your body. That, that becomes your aura. And that is like a shield for you, that protects you from the people, uh, for the, from the circumstances around you, pollution and so many things around you. People, someone get, get, gets angry, you will not get angry because your aura will protect you. Uh, so this is soul, you do this meditation in the morning 4 to 5, you can charge yourself, seven energies come, come inside and there is a, a hypothalamic, pituitary and pineal hormones, 18 hormones coming, come out at that point of time in the 4, four to 5. If you enjoy bliss for 20 minutes, the studies are there, you can harmonize these hormones. And in the, during the day, there will be 5 to 10 kicks come out depending on the requirement. If the first kick is harmonious, all those, those coming out, those kicks which are coming to come out during the day, they will be same way harmonious. If first kick is not harmonious, then you will have a lot of problems. Same thing will be happening again and again. If you can maintain your silence up to eight and have only positive team up to eight, then the energy reaches the body, body cells, those seven energies. And then if you can take proper diet, I say should the sattvic diet, should means pure, cooked with pure mind. Sattvic means food which increases seven energies, like uh, sprouts, porridge or oatmeal, the milk, cow's milk or whatever, you know, double toned milk you take, the vegetable, salads, fruits at 11 a.m., then lunch, salads, followed by chapati, sabji and dal, and if you card, and then 4 p.m. again fruits and 6, 6 p.m. we take dinner. Three hours, three and a half hours before we go to bed. 6 to 6.30 dinner is over. And then you can have meditation. And then before going to bed, you write a letter to God and just say, audit your day. Whatever wrongs and rights have done, just mention on a small piece of paper, give it to God and do, do two minutes of meditation. Go to bed around 10. And if you do this, energy will accumulate in your body and that is aura and this is how the harmony will happen. And this is what Raja Yoga meditation means. So you follow this program, this is how this program is conducted. Patients come with the spouse and uh, we, can, we teach them, we walk with them. Patients with, without legs also walk, right? And we have meditation, we have group support sessions and picnic with them. So main take home, take home message is, be, first, first thing is spiritual, it's a three dimensional healthcare program. We also call it 3D health and happiness. It says be natural, be inner self conscious, not body or role conscious. And always remember that you are not an angry person, you are not a short tempered person, you are not a type A person. You are a peaceful person, you are a loveful person, you are a happy person. You are born peaceful, loveful, happy, blissful. And that is what your innate nature is. And for this practice meditation from 4.15 to 4.45, and enjoy blissful stage to enjoy in that early morning pituitary surge and mental care. Up to 8 a.m. you practice silence as far as possible and we listen to Murli, godly versions. That is 100% positive team and to harmonize our adrenal surge. We have seen that once you do this, then whole day you are peaceful, loveful, happy. In up to 8 a.m. you do anything negative team, negative thought, negative emotion, entertain anything, then hold, cortisol comes out more and the whole day you will be peaceless. Whole day you will be, you know, anxiety, anger, irritation, efficiency will go down. And then physical care, that is eat natural, right? What when, it's not only important what to be taken, but when to be taken. There's a time for breakfast, lunch and dinner, and how to be taken. 
in silence right in godly in god's remembrance take that food in that remembrance right with that because otherwise you are not eating here only but you are eating from eyes you are eating from your ears so everything is important everything matters eat with that consciousness be in the lap of nature have morning walk with sunrise after cleaning your bowels having a bath go for a walk 45 minutes brisk walk and evening stroll before sunset and then sleep at 10 get up at 4 and proper use the medication if you follow this you will be healthy you have healthy heart healthy mind happy mind and healthy body sabhi logo ko jana hai bhojan pe so i will not take lot of time i just want to say that as dr gupta has started this program and uh, normally we see when patient comes to cardiologist what we do we just advise for control of blood pressure control of diabetes mellitus reduce the weight anti platelet drug exercise and stop smoking this is what the advice given by we cardiologist and that is the reason we see that coronary artery disease is number one killer today 40% of the patient they die because of coronary artery disease disease was 1% in 1960 now it is 12 to 14 percent it is progressing it is not regressing basic fault is ki we are tackling the disease at only at human level that is at body level we cardiologist we don't know anything behind the body ki there is a being which is the most important part and we have seen that when you are practicing soul conscious state then you are 100 percent peace purity prosperity healthy wealthy happy this is what the people were there in Satyug and Treta Yug. Total full 2500 years, people were healthy, wealthy, happy because they were soul conscious. After the interval, we become body conscious and then we deteriorated. The why the soul conscious is important? Because if you take the risk factor, take the risk factor like personality, type A personality, people are prone for coronary artery disease. Personality is not related to body, it is to the soul, it is a soul personality. So, you have to treat at soul level. If you see the risk factors, physical risk factor I told you and psychological risk factor, anxiety, depression, cynicism, isolation, these are all the personality of that soul. So, you have to tackle the soul, then only you can become perfectly all right. If you see the uh, disease wise, 50 percent of the patients they have coronary artery disease which are diffuse disease multiple artery disease where cardiologist can't do angioplasty bypass surgeon can't say he can't do the surgery also. Now this type of patient who will open the artery only this type of pathy you know where you can do the soul conscious Rajoga lifestyle can open the artery which is demonstrated by Dr. Gupta not only in one or two years from last 19 years he has shown the uh, project and this project. I am very much proud of this organization and Dr. Gupta that this study is one of the top 20 study in the world. So, this is creditable for Dr. Gupta and for this organization. And if you see the bypass surgery, bypass surgery and angioplasty, we do bypass surgery and angioplasty. Now, angioplasty and bypass surgery, they are not the permanent solution. They bypass surgery, venous graft, 8 years, 10 years they block, arterial graft they last for 10 years, 12 years, 15 years depending on the which surgeon has operated. And cost wise if you see angioplasty will cost you 1.5 lakhs, bypass surgery will cost you more than 2 lakhs depending on the surgeon. If good surgeon it will go to 5 lakhs, 10 lakhs also and they are also not permanent. Then what is the permanent? Permanent solution is with you. And if you see the coronary artery bypass and angioplasty we do when the artery block is more than 70 percent. If block is less than 70 percent we do we do not do angioplasty or bypass surgery and maximum heart attack they occur when block is less than 50 percent where there is no bypass and no angioplasty and the only solution is change of lifestyle. lifestyle. And only problem with our patients they do not want to do the mehnat, mehnat nahi karna hai. they want ready made formula. I say though goli do I should become okay and this is the pathy where you have to do the mehnat then only you will get the result. This project was started by Dr. Gupta in 98 I was with him during that time I appreciate him inki sehan shakti ka to koi jawab nahi power of tolerance 
I remember those days, 98, when he started this project, you know how many patients he had? He had only three patients. Three patients for seven days training from 9 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. 8 p.m. he was teaching them. Now imagine, even if you tell me doctor, you are professor HD, you take CAD coronary artery disease lecture for seven days, I will not be able to uh, give much that much lecture because I do not have material. I do not know from where you where he got that much material which lasted for seven days. Those days we were not having projector and no laptop, no computer. There was only that overhead projector and Dr. Gupta has no material except that our medical material, anatomy, physiology, no spiritual material. He was just meditating. He was getting the hint from Almighty Father. He was writing on the transferences and over the, the, that overhead projector, he was taking the spiritual lecture. And till that from 98 till now, total 8000 patients and it is creditable and we have, he has brought this organization to the top and I say Almighty Faba has done this program. Dr. Gupta is just in front of his, but he is carrying out this program. I, give cong I congratulate Dr. Gupta and give him best luck, best wishes also, ki this trial should become number one in the world because this is the biggest trial going on from 19 years. Nobody carried out the longer trial, you know, for so many long years. So I assume that Dr. Gupta will continue and this will become the number one trial in the world. All the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Ratanji Rathod.